high. In this lesson, we will learn how to find the total working hours for each staff member based on in and out time. For only one day, it is a straightforward calculation simply by subtract out time minus in time. This is a correct display, but not a correct value. So if I try to run a total for all this working hours, the result is totally wrong. Because what we have here is not a numeric value. Actually, what we have here is simply a point in time. And based on our display, which can be 12 or 24 display for the hour, what actually we have here is a reset. So if the result is 13, the display will be 1. So we need to find a way to convert this result into a numeric value, which we can aggregate to find the working hours. We have two ways. The first one, which is straightforward, we can simply multiply the result of this calculation by 24. This is how Excel understands the time as a numeric value. So what I have here now can be displayed as a number. And of course, we can aggregate this number to find the total working hours. Again, just to make it clear, if he work for 8 hours and 30 minutes, this value actually is 8 hours and half. To convert this time point into a numeric value, we simply multiply this one by 24. And of course, we need to display it as a number. So exactly, 8 hours and 30 minutes is 8 hour and a half. This is a numeric value which I can use to aggregate. Now, another way to do so is to use hour and minute functions. And actually, I prefer this one because I can create one column to find the hour, so I can simply find the hour of the result of subtractions out and in. So the result here is an hour as a number. So what I have here is 8 as a number. So I can aggregate this number also. And I can do the same for the minutes. So I can find the minutes of the calculation of out minus in. Sorry, I do something wrong. This is a correct one, and if I sum all the hours plus sum all of the minutes divided by 60 to convert them to hours, this result is exactly the same of multiplication by 24. Now, if I need to find the total working hours for each staff member, it is it's as simple as I can create a pivot table, put the staff member or the agent name as the row, so I have two staff members. All I need to do now is to check hours as value, so I can see how much hour each staff member working and the total for all of them. Thank you.